Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Ali Dropship plugin so you can start importing a bunch of products from AliExpress onto your WordPress website. So this is my current website, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I can use it to dropship, or I'm sorry, import all of these products on from AliExpress onto my website, where it's going to import the images, the text, the variables, everything, so it's very fast and automated. So the plugin that you will need is this plugin right here called Ali Dropship. There is a 10% description in the link below if you use my link. And you will also need a free Chrome extension called the Ali Dropship Chrome extension, Ali Dropship extension. Now let me just show you how this works to just kind of give you an example and see if this is, wor is working for you. Now, I actually have a full tutorial on this in the description below with Ali Dropship and creating an, a dropshipping website. So if you are interested in that, uh, I highly recommend it because it's a great way to make money where you can buy this for as little as like $3 and then go ahead and resell it on your website for 30 bucks and then you make $27, you know? So let me just give you an example of this really quickly. So this is my website right here and right here on the shop section, you can see I only have around maybe five products. Now I'm gonna actually use the, the extension and the plugin to actually import every product I want and have it all automated. So for example, right here, let's just say I wanna you know, add this watch right here and I wanna add this watch right here. And then maybe, I don't know, what's this? This is gonna get $2. You know, we can sell that for easily 30 bucks on our website. Maybe uh, right here, oh, there you go. That's another $2 web. I like the $2 ones, you know? And the $2 ones are good because those are, the, those are the ones that we make a lot of money off. So I actually picked four watches or let's see right here. I got four, I actually selected more earlier. I have 14, so. I got 14 watches. Here, I'll select one more to make it 15. There you go. All right, so I'm selecting this watch right here. It's You can kind of see it, it's working, it's importing. Now, this is gonna make it 15 right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to import all of those watches on from this website onto my other website. So I can even set the category right here. So I want these all to go under the watches category. And right here where it says import, I'm gonna click on imports. And now it's gonna go ahead and import all those watches onto my website. So this was the website I had right here. And I want it to all go to this website. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna go ahead and log in to see if this is actually connecting with my website. And I'll show you like how it's, you know, how it works and everything. I don't know why it says pay with your credit card, you know? It's weird. It just started saving that and I was like, oh, what the hell? I never even put that on there, it's weird. All right, let me do it one more time. I think that's it. Okay, there we go. All right, cool, so this is my site. Now, I know it's working already because you see right here it says images to be imported. So let's go over here to my shop right here. Now you can see that the watches are all imported and now on the top right right here on the top, you see how it says 413, 412, et cetera. So right now what it's doing is that it's importing all of the images, the gallery, the variables, the text, everything onto my WordPress website without me having to do a thing. It's all automated. And then the prices will actually list right here. Now in my dropshipping tutorial, I do talk about how you can actually kind of manipulate the price in some regards, but I'll go ahead and give you an example of that. So let's say for example, you're, you're importing a lot of products and you know, $3 and 71 cents doesn't really sound good. You know, it doesn't sound good on your website and you probably don't want to list that price. But the problem is that you have so many products out there, it would take so much time to kind of set a price for each specific one, right? That makes sense. So let me show you how you can actually set a formula. So all the prices will actually be adjusted to what you want. So right here under Ali Dropship Woo, I'm gonna click on this right here and I'm gonna go down to settings. Now right here, there is pricing. Now right here, I've added a formula and I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all these really quick. I'm just gonna delete them all just to give you an example of how this works. All right, go ahead and close these. And I believe that is the last one, okay. Now right here, I'm gonna put add recommended. So let's say, for example, you have nothing on here and you're brand new. So I'm gonna go ahead and put add recommended. So now you can see that it's starting to add the recommended prices right there. And this is basically saying, hey, we're doing it. So what this means right here is that something costs between zero and $1, our store is gonna change that price to $7.95. If something costs between the price of a dollar to $2, it's gonna cost $8.99. Now there is one big discrepancy with this formula that Ali Dropship needs to change is that you need to put a dollar and one cent. So right here, I'm gonna put a dollar and one cent. Because what happens if someone purchases a product 
and it literally costs one dollar. Well, it's not going to work because the formula is going to say, well, it's, it's like tugging and pulling. So now you can kind of see that if something costs between a dollar and two dollars that we import. The price is going to auto adjust to eight ninety nine. But that's kind of low, you know. Let's add a little bit more. Let's, let's make it twelve ninety nine. You know, I want. Oh no, not that much. That, that's too much. We kind of get too greedy there. Twelve ninety nine. So, I hope did I put that right? Let's see. Twelve. 12.99. Yeah, 0 to 2 12.99. Okay. Yeah, 0 to 2 dollars 12.99 and so on and so forth. Now there's other formulas you can do as well. So right here you can do like a new formula and like right here is a good example like you can do multiplication or addition. So right here you can kind of like uh, edit it. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. There we go. So like if something costs between, you know, $300 to $400, I want to go ahead and say I want to give a multiplier of that by 1.5. So what that means that the $300 product will then be charged for 50 and then the $400 product will be charged what like 15 25 or something like that. So right here I click on save. So here you can kind of see the formula taking place right here. So this is the recommended formula. So anything that costs between $100 plus, we're just going to multiply it by 1.35 and that 0.35 is going to be our profit. So that's a really good way on how you can actually adjust it. Now also a great thing to do is to round it up because you don't want prices at like you don't want prices at like you know uh, 85 or you know 90 or 78 whatever. You want like you know rounded up prices that look a little bit more stable. Now right here, once you're done with everything, so right now you can see that these images are being imported. Once you're done with all of that, everything's done imported. You can actually click on start, and it's going to actually update all the products in your store to match the current price. Now it's not a good idea to do this while it's importing because it might conflict with each other. You know, like it's still uploading images, so. If I click on start right here, uh, one or one or two of them might cancel. You know, one of the, they might get interfered. So you might want to wait. But I'm just giving you a demonstration. So now you can kind of see that it's going through all of these products right here, and it's actually auto adjusting the prices onto every single product. So right here, you can see that you know this one's being adjusted, this one's being adjusted, this one, this one, this one, and all they need to do is sit back and just kick it. This is it. You know, this is how easy it is. You know, like look at this. Like I literally have more than uh, 15 products out there with a bunch of images. The prices are all automated for me. I don't need to do anything. I just need to go get a beer. You know, I'm just gonna go get a beer. You guys want anything? I'll get a, a Pacifico or the Modelo. You know, like, I'm a Modelo guy. But anyways, I'm just giving you an example of, of how e this is, easy this is and why you should have it to your website. Now they're all, there is some strategy to it. You know, there is, first you have to build the website, then you have to design it, and then you need to market it. Now. In the description below, I have a full tutorial on how to make the website. It's all free. You know, of course, you have to buy the theme. I'm not going to lie to you because the dropshipping plugin does cost around $89. So let's go take a quick look at that right now. But again, I represent only reputable companies. There is a 30-day money-back guarantee if it just does not work out for you. And I do have a 10% discount in the description below. But you have to use the link in order to get that discount code. So right here, you can go ahead and buy the plugin. And do not buy the website from them. They offer like custom website. I mean, I don't mean to trash them in any way, but they're just, you can make much better. So right here, you know, buy it for only $89 and then you can go ahead and buy it. And there is a 30 day money back guarantee. In fact, the theme that I use in my tutorial, I actually use the Flatsome theme, which is actually recommended on this website. So let me just see if I can actually find it under the uh, resources themes. Yeah, so they actually do recommend Flatsum right here. They recommend Flatsum. It's not even their theme, but they're just saying the Flatsum theme is highly recommended for dropshipping websites because of the customization you can do to it is simply, it's, it's astronomical. I mean, there's the sky's the limit. So in my video, I use Flatsum. So you will need to buy the plugin, the theme, and that's basically it. And then you can start getting your, your site hosted and you can start importing products. You can market it, you can blog. And I recommend blogging, that's a big one because that really creates traffic and it creates good SEO. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, it's a great plugin. I'll go ahead and close this. There is some things that you need to do. Like, you know, there really isn't much. You just get, get the plugin and you upload the products, etc. And also whenever you sell a product, let's say, for example, someone buys a product on your website right here, you actually even get a 12% cash back from AliExpress itself. So you get profit. Well, actually, there's three ways you get profit. This is, this is crazy. You get profit from first, Buying the, buying the product, so someone buys the product, you make the profit from that. Second, you make the product, you make the interest off AliExpress, so AliExpress will give you a 12% cash back whenever someone buys it. And then the last one is, as a little kind of secret, 
If you're using a credit card with cash back, well, guess what? You also get cash back on that purchase. So there's so much money to be made off drop shipping. So imagine that you're, you sold the product for $30 and you got it for 10. So you made $20 on that and then you made another 12% from AliExpress. Plus, if you have a cash back credit card, which is like 1.5 or 2%, you just made another 1.5, 2% off the product you purchased with the credit card points as well. There's money there, you know? So uh, ultimately, it's a great plugin. It's a great program. Uh, you will need the Ali Dropship extension, but that plugin does that it actually kind of integrates it right here. So it detects it, and then you can even put them in certain categories. So it detects the categories that you create on your dropshipping website, and then you just literally just grab them here, and you pull them to your site, change the description, etc. Now, what I recommend to do is actually do the hide with e-packets, remove the images and the text, because when they import these products over here, sometimes they actually give you too much information that customers don't need to see. So let me just give you one more example before I let you go. So right here, for example, we have this product right here. And right here, you have this stuff right here, but you don't need to see all this stuff. See, this is what I'm talking about. Your customer doesn't need to see this because then they know it's from Ali Dropship and, or AliExpress, and that kind of kills it for you. You know, that's not what you want your customers to see. So I recommend over here to hide the description and the text right here. So remove images and remove text and only have products with ePacket. And ePacket is the fastest and cheapest shipping. So for example, right here, or these are all ePackets. So you get the product within 12 days. So 12 days, that's when they get the product. Of course, it's not as good as Amazon, but hey, you know, every website cannot be Amazon today. So I hope this video was helpful. Please check out my other tutorial on the dropshipping tutorial in the description below. Um, this is the plugin that we actually use in that tutorial. And then also check out my free Facebook ads tutorial and also my Google Merchant Center tutorial because we intertwine them all together. We first make the website and then we market it with both of them. So there's really no reason for you not to do it because again, remember, there's a 30 day money back guarantee on everything. So you have nothing to really lose, you know, except for you only have to gain, right? So again, I hope this video was helpful. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see you all in the next video.